Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our idle control in our FuelTech Manager software. We're going to find we have the ability to control two different idle actuator types. We have a stepper motor or a pulse width modulated style solenoid. Now, in either of these situations, we have to program some certain details in order to make them work correctly as we're doing our idle tuning and control. So I'm going to be showing you that in this video as well as taking a look at the actual idle control itself. We have an open and a closed loop method, and we can also implement ignition timing feedback to be able to hit the desired target idle speed we're programming. There's going to be a lot to cover in the video, so let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at our idle control in our FuelTech Manager software. We're going to find we have a couple different ways we can implement our idle control. We can either work with an idle actuator motor found on most of the older engines, such as an LS1 or a Honda B series or we have the ability to use drive by wire throttle control found on most newer engines. So we're gonna go over the idle actuator, the older style idle control in this video. We're gonna have a separate video on drive by wire throttle control. We, we can explore the idle control using the drive by wire in that video because it is going to be a lot different than taking a look at working with an idle actuator. So let's jump in here to our sensors and calibration. Let's move down in here to outputs. Let's talk about our outputs we have available. And we have our blue outputs. These are going to be for the in injector outputs. The gray is going to be for our coil outputs. The yellow are going to be specific for the idle control outputs. So whether you're going to be controlling a pulse width st modulated style solenoid or actuator or a stepper style motor or actuator. We'll find that there's gonna be two different weight or two different methods of control for uh, the actuators that are out there. We're going to be using the yellow wires here specifically for wiring in the idle control solenoid. Now, once we go into our engine settings here and jump into our idle actuator, we're gonna find that when we select the actuator we're working with, again, whether it's gonna be a PWM or a stepper motor, it's gonna be assigning our outputs here to this specific task for controlling these motors. So a pulse width modulated output has one output typically that's going to be pulsing the solenoid to allow it to open and close. A stepper motor is going to have four wires that are going to control it that's going to be uh, making it open or close in a certain amount of steps. So there are going to be two different ways of control. The software is going to be uh, dealing with doing all of the background control and we'll have a different way to take a look at our actual programming side of things. It's going to be a simple 0 to 100 percent scale. But we need to select the motor that we're working with. So either it's a PWM valve or a stepper motor. I'll go here to PWM valve first so we can select that. Jump into write ECU here, just write this changes so it knows that we're working with this type of valve. We have a couple things to talk about here. So once I've selected that, we'll jump down here to outputs. We'll find that our output pin number one here is set up to our PWM idle valve. Now we have a little flexibility if we didn't want to wire it to our output one here. We could choose any of the other outputs one through eight here to wire in our pulse width modulated idle valve. Now a couple things real quick that are special about the yellow outputs. We can send a 12 volt or a high side output or a low side or ground output from any of the yellow outputs here. 